The second break. Pang Junxu to break. So Pang Junxu leads Ronnie O'Sullivan 1 0 here in the last 32. Day three of the International Championship. The winner will play Ali Carter or Jackson Page. And Page has won the opening frame there. John Higgins has an 85 break to win the first against Matthew Stevens as Pang gets the blue full in the face. It's always annoying for both players, I think, when the blue gets knocked off his spot and onto the side cushion. But the fact that it's gone over the pocket obviously uh, helps O'Sullivan greatly. They might have to pot it straight away here, given that kiss. It's a very important ball, the blue, when you are trying to make breaks. The fact when it's on its own spot, it's something you can go up and knock in. So it's going to have to drag the cue ball and play down towards the red. Not an easy positional shot, this, in fact. So hard to control the cue ball. Six. It's travelling that far. Oh, it's tough on this, goodness, screwing into the bunch as well. Seven. That's where you have no control over where all the reds go. That's why he's not on the blue. So another good shot required to keep the break going early. That's nice queuing. That is a, an early examination of how he's hitting the ball and, and he's passed it. And he's now absolutely in because the red to right Nine. corner with the black to the opposite corner is a great opening. Yeah, it could be a very costly break-off shot, that, from Pang. Ten. Well, it's always disappointing when you... you know, the, the shot that you play more than any other is the one that you get wrong. The break-off leaving your opponent such an early in and you don't want to leave this man this sort of chance. Semi-finalist here last year, well not here, it was actually uh, in another venue, but uh, Zhang Ander beat him. Of course it, was a, it is a two session match, beat him 9-6. He's had a lot of success in Shanghai over the years, but would like to start winning these tournaments. He's here as the promoter's pick. I think that's uh, uh, excusing having to play the first round in the UK, it makes complete 25. sense. We saw all the people he brought, certainly on day one, 26. in terms of tickets. Thirty-three. Yes, I mean, on that, because Judd Trump 24. had to play a qualifier, which I didn't really agree with that. It seemed unfortunate. Wouldn't have been world number one, perhaps, at the time, but it seemed, uh, thankfully, from the, I guess, the promotion of the tournament, it's concerned, he got through that qualifier in the UK. But it would have been a loss to the tournament 41. had he not done so. Anyway. 42. Just got to keep that cue ball in the centre of the table here. A little soft stun shot. Nicely played. Keeping Ivy, uh, the referee on the toes here is playing at some speed. He's actually the fastest player on tour this season, 16.3 seconds, which is slightly quicker than when he arrived in Nanjing. He was 16.5, so it just shows you his first two matches when he's been in, in this sort of position. He's just been as quick as ever. Yes, and he doesn't look as quick as someone like a Tepcharo Nu or one or two others. It's just that, and we always say it, but it is true, his cue ball is under such control that there isn't a lot to think about between shots. When you're on the next ball perfectly all the time, as he is on this occasion. Four. 
So, within a matter of minutes, we're at frying ball. <laughs> Pang Jung Zhu broke off, he caught the blue full, and that was it from his 72. perspective, his only involvement in this frame. 80. 81. Yeah, well, a lot will depend on this next shot as to whether he knocks up another century. Well, that's a shame, but he'll be pleased with that break all the same. Well, it just went by in the blink of an eye, didn't it? That from 81, really punishing the error from Pang. And we're all square at one each. Well, <laughs> the only good news for Pang is it, it was quick, I suppose. But anyway, the frame went away after one shot for him.